Blender's EV render engine uses screen spaced reflection and refraction. This means that anything appearing in a reflection or refraction has to be directly visible to the camera or it won't appear. This becomes a problem when rendering a scene like this, where the front edge of the pool is blocking the camera's view of the bottom of the pool. This is one of the fundamental problems with the EV render engine. However, I found a way to mostly work around this issue, which I will now show you. The basic principle is to render three separate render passes. The first being your scene as is, the second being a modified version of your scene where the camera can see the bottom of the pool, and the third being a mask used to combine them in the compositor. Before we begin, make sure to enable screen space reflections and check the screen space refraction box as well. Now, your pool material will need a few nodes added to it, specifically a geometry node with the back facing output passing through an invert node before being connected to a mix shader with a transparent BSDF node also connected to it, like this. At this point, feel free to pause the video at any time I bring up a node tree so you can copy it. Also, be sure to set the alpha and shadow modes to alpha hashed. This will make your pool render look sort of like this, which will allow the camera to see the bottom of the pool. For the water, just add a cube and give it this material. The nodes on the left create the wave displacement. The refraction nodes in the middle are set to red, green, and blue, each with a different index of refraction, or IOR, which will give it a slight color separation in the water. The glossy shader at the bottom gives the water some reflection. Be sure to set the alpha mode to alpha hashed and the shadow mode to none. Also be sure to check the screen space refraction box in the material properties window. To augment our water, we're gonna add some volumetrics. So duplicate your water object and remove the previous material. Now make a new material with a principled volume node connected directly to the volume input of the material output node like this. Once again, be sure to update the blend and shadow modes to alpha hashed and none, respectively. Now head up to your scene selection box. Name your master scene something useful, like master. Then click the new scene button and choose full copy. Rename this scene to transparent. Then do another full copy and name it mask. Since we're now on the mask scene, let's set that up now. Select your pool and remove the material. Then make a new material that's just an emission node set to black. Now select the water and do the same thing, but keep the emission set to white. You'll actually want everything besides the water set to black or deleted, including the HDRI environment if you're using one. If you have an object that passes in front of the pool, you'll want to keep that in and give it a black material. We're done with the mask, so let's head on over to the transparent scene. Select your pool and go into edit mode. Select the top surface, add a new material slot, then make a new material. Add a transparent BSDF node, connect it to the material output, and set the blend mode to alpha hashed. Then click assign to assign the new material to the selected surface. Head on over to the master scene and turn off your volumetric water object. That is, unless you want your scene to look like this. Now switch to the compositor. Check Use Nodes, duplicate the render layer node twice, set one to the transparent scene and the other to the mask scene. Add a mix node and connect everything like this. Once you've done that, that's basically it. If you have any questions or need clarification on anything, I'd be happy to help you out down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about Blender, please consider subscribing.